earlier this year we met Father James Mackay and Imam Yunus Dudwala, two chaplains from different faiths who met while working at the NHS Nightingale Hospital, bringing comfort, support and prayers to the sick, dying and their families. As National Grief Awareness Week draws to a close, we've spoken to them again in this difficult year of loss for so many of us. This pandemic, um, in terms of grief and the pieces left over for many, many families, is going to last a long time. And it's because we, we've seen it. We've seen it because many families could not come in to see their loved ones just even um, a week before they died because they were still being treated and there was hope that they might survive and eventually when they became end of life that's when they came in but at that time it's usually too late to make any communication so that grief will be with lots of families the grief that people have experienced uh, during uh, this last nine months is going to take a much longer time to process than it normally would. Um, I, th I think of a funeral that um, I conducted just before lockdown and it was uh, not COVID related and, um, and I just think of, of that spouse um, still suffering because they still haven't had a chance to connect with their nearest and dearest because of the restrictions, because of age limitations or their community. We, we do what we can, but it is restricted and limited uh, just by, well, just by the circumstances. Part of this grief is going to be guilt. Guilt that they were not there at the time when their parents or their loved one was dying. Guilt that they were not there when they died. Guilt that some of them could not even be at the funeral because they have to be shielding or they have to be isolating. Not being able to, to be close to uh, those who suffer the immediate loss, not being able to console with them, I think has been uh, a massive factor. It's interesting that um, I think the number of requests for burial have, have gone up during this period, so that after the, the Requiem Mass, you have an opportunity to gather outside where it is possible uh, to, to accommodate a few more people, just to, to be close to the loved one uh, and those who, who suffer. It is. Um a collective grief and I hope that you know the communities are there to support each other because we are going to have to do this collectively um, there's a lot of grief out there we all grieve together we all suffer together and for those of us who come out on the other side and we survive and thrive together going forward so that's my hope really that we can use this moment as a point where we say we all came together and saw the best of ourselves Father James Mackay ending that report there and our thanks to him and Imam Yunus Dudwala.